I'm Ryland there in Nostrum's Beetle, and this is one day in my life that you are going to experience. First, I will tell you what the parts of my body are and what they can do. Let's start with the basic things. I have six legs, which all insects have in common. I also have wing covers and wings, which most insects have. The males of my species are typically strong flyers, like me. Here's a demonstration. I can fly, poof, but not very well. As you may have already noticed, I have two very large horns on my head. These are used for two reasons. To fight other male rhinoceros beetles during the mating season, like this. And another reason that I'll probably have to show you very, very soon. When I'm fighting another male, however, I am used as a gambling tool to see who will knock who off a large tree. <gasps> Did you guys hear that? That was the second way of how my horns are used, in case you were wondering. I dig into the leaves with my horns to escape danger. It usually works. That thing that just tried to eat me was a snake, one of my natural enemies, along with pigs, ants, rats, and even other beetles. It's a good thing that snake didn't see me. I am six and a half inches and I weigh two grams. Rhinoceros beetles are one of the largest species of beetle some growing up to six and a half inches in length, like me. Females, however, have a small bump on their head rather than two large ones. Here is a picture of a female rhinoceros beetle. Females have a bigger body than males, though. Rhinoceros beetles are said to be the strongest animals in the world. I can carry up to 850 times my own weight. That's sick. That's like having one elephant carrying 850 elephants on top of him. Here's a demonstration. Now, on with my diet. My species is a herbivore, which means I only eat plants. I eat fruit, like this clementine. I also eat nectar and plant sap. However, I don't eat much of it. The larvae, on the other hand, eat the rotting wood in which I live in. And they eat much more than adults do. Plus, they eat fungus, too. The larvae rhinoceros beetles look more like grubs than anything else. I live in tropical forests on every continent except Antarctica. My species is a very popular pet in Asia. In the north, I am seen during any time of year. In the U.S., my range extends from Arizona to Nebraska and on eastward. My habitat looks like this. I know, I know, it's not a palace like I'm sure you guys are expecting. But no, it's just some rotting wood, some plants, and leaf litter. This does, however, provide a safe hideout for me during the day, because even though I am a nocturnal animal, I am sometimes active during the day. Unfortunately, my habitat has been destroyed in many different places by lifeforms called humans. They do something called deforestation, which is when humans destroy forests with things called bulldozers. However, even with all these super bad things that are happening to us rhinoceros beetles, we are not endangered. You guys could seriously help by stopping deforestation. That was one day in my life. Thanks for watching, and uh-oh, here it comes again. Hold on, I have to go to a safer place.
Anyway, that was one day in my life that I just showed you, and I'm sure that was a lot harder than your everyday life. No offense. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.